Hi, this is Investment Ideas. I'm your host, Ed Harrison, and this is a show where we're going to talk to you about medium-term investments, sort of in the 6 to 24-month time frame. And our first guest today is going to be David Rosenberg, who's the chief economist and chief strategist at Gluskin Chef. He's going to talk to us about what he sees over the 6 to 18-month time horizon in terms of asset allocation for North American investors. And with that, let's get to David. Dear Rosenberg, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, I've heard a lot about you. I've watched you over the course of, you know, say 15 or 20 years, and uh, it's a great opportunity to get to pick your brain here about uh, investment opportunities. Well, you know, they say there's, uh, there's lean picking, so, uh, <laughs> so good luck to you. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, in terms of the pickings, I'm thinking in this sort of six to 18 month time frame, sort of a medium uh, term look. And so what I wanted to get a sense is, is what are you looking at in terms of where should Americans have their investment asset allocation over the medium term, over that, say, the rest of this year through to the end of 2020? Right. Well, uh, I think that uh, we have seen for the cycle uh, the peak in growth and uh, the peak in inflation and the peak in interest rates. Uh, I think the Fed has already pretty well told us that. So I think that what you want to have in your portfolio is a barbell uh, between what works in a very slow growth environment, uh, perhaps I would hazard to say even a recession environment, where you want to be exposed to long-term bonds. High quality, long duration bonds should be a core holding in your portfolio. And I think within the equity market to really be focused on what works well in a declining interest rate backdrop, which are dividend paying stocks. So, uh, you know, whether they be the financials, they be the utilities, uh, I'm bullish on REITs. Mm -hmm. uh, but within the stock market, you want to have uh, a, a bent towards what works well when interest rates go down. Uh, I think you want to be defensive, uh, so you don't want to be cyclical, uh, but you want to take advantage of the lower interest rates, which means dividend growth dividend yield uh, with companies that have low payout ratios. If you have to be in the equity market, that's where you want to be. 